The iconic Boston rock band Aerosmith announced shocking news. This decision was made after vocalist Steven Tyler sustained a vocal cord damage, forcing them to cancel their Peace Out concert tour. This stunning news was released on Friday, 208-24, via an Instagram post by Aerosmith. According to the upload, Steven Tyler suffered from severe voice cord difficulties. Despite receiving several treatments, his voice has not improved. As you are aware, Steven's voice is a unique instrument. He has worked relentlessly for months to restore his voice to pre-injury levels. We've seen him struggle, despite having the best medical team on his side. Unfortunately, it is apparent that a complete recovery from his vocal lesion is impossible, the statement added. We have made a heartbreaking and difficult but necessary decision, as a band of brothers, to retire from the touring stage, the press release reads. We are grateful beyond words for everyone who was excited to get on the road with us one last time, wrote the band, which has been together since 1970. In the statement, the band that formerly graced the original soundtrack of the film Armageddon with their song I Don't Want to Miss a Thing reflected on their journey since 1970. They also thanked their faithful followers for their support over the years. Thanks to you, our Blue Army, that spark caught flame and has been burning for over five decades, according to the message. Some of you have been with us since the beginning and all of you are the reason we made rock and roll history. Aerosmith had performed three shows before postponing the remaining dates and deciding to retire. Initially, the farewell tour was scheduled to begin on September 20th, 2024 in Pittsburgh and run five months, concluding on February 26th, 2025 in Buffalo, NY. The tour is scheduled to include 40 concerts across North America. However, Tyler's vocal cord injury led them to postpone and finally cancel the tour that was intended to be their final performance on stage. Aerosmith has become a legendary rock band that has captured attention since its debut album in 1972, earning gold and platinum album sales certificates. The 1970s were also Aerosmith's busiest decade. With numerous tours and chart-topping tunes, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inducted Aerosmith in 2001 the Songwriters Hall of Fame inducted Steven Tyler and Joe Perry, sometimes known as the Toxic Twins, in 2003.